Hey guys, what's up? It's been forever since I made a video in English, and I swear I'm forgetting both Korean and English at this point. Whew. Anyway, I thought today would be a good time to do an English video because I know both my Korean viewers and international viewers are gonna find this interesting. You guys know how everyone's obsessed with Olive Young when they travel to Korea, right? So today, I thought it'd be fun to compare the Korean Olive Young with the global version and see what's different. I'll also be testing out some of the top products from the global store and giving you my honest thoughts. Let's jump into part 1. When you search Olive Young on Google, you get the Korean site, but right below it, there's the global version. I've never clicked it before, so here we go. First thing I noticed, Hera. Hera is everywhere. I mean, yeah, we all know Hera is popular, but damn. They've got a whole section. You get all these freebies by buying one product? If you buy a cushion or foundation, you get all this extra stuff. You're buying one lipstick and they're giving you highlighter, eyeshadow, balm, and a fixer. They're just giving out whole store. In Korea, we do get samples too, but nothing like this. Okay, let's check out the best seller section. No surprise, Hera's cushion is number one. What's this K-pop section? We definitely don't have that in Korea. Oh, they're selling idol merch. That's kind of cool. Okay, back to the products. Second place, Round Lab. Their sunscreen is huge in Korea too, so no surprises. Third is Hera again, and in Fourth place, what's this brand? Skin1004. Skin Chonsa? Never heard of it. Helping you understand the name of the brand. So 1004 in Korean sounds like angel, which means Chonsa. Let's be real, the name is cheesy. You know it's giving me major 2000s vibes. When I first got a phone and used to text 1004 Chonsa to confess to my crush, uh, fifth place is Beauty of Joseon. Beauty of Joseon. Now this one I remember mostly because the name sounds kind of old school. But get this, it's one of the most popular K-beauty brands overseas. And it barely gets any hype in Korea. So it's kind of funny that it's such a big deal abroad. Anua is starting to blow up in Korea too. And VT Cosmetics had its moment. And there's Beauty of Joseon again. Looks like I have to try it. Biodance is another brand that's picking up steam in Korea, but I've heard it's even more popular overseas. Number Zine, super popular in Korea. Great price, gentle formula on the skin. I personally love their stuff. And there is this beauty box. Is it like those old Sephora or Mimi box subscription boxes? Korea doesn't have anything like this anymore. All of Young used to do monthly beauty boxes, but they're long gone now. $183 worth of products for just 50 bucks? 50 bucks? I want this. Can I buy this? Wait. They don't even they don't even ship to Korea. Have you people abroad been getting all these deals while we've been missing out? And there are so many popular products here too. Okay, all of you, I'm kinda feel betrayed. People, they don't give us deals like this in Korea, even during sales. Well, maybe it's because they think we're already hooked. Except for a few brands, the rankings here feel kinda similar to Korea's. But in Korea, real-time rankings are a huge deal. Olive Young updates the top products daily and weekly, and I think one reason for this is because Korean influencers do pop-up sales that only last a day or two. And plus, the beauty industry in Korea is super competitive, and trends change really fast. So apart from a few bestsellers, most products don't stay in the top rankings for more than a week. I think this is why the real rankings are so important in Korean market. Now let's check out the top makeup section. Not surprised, Hera is killing it. And... Tiru Tiru. I'm pretty sure this isn't even available at Olive Young in Korea. 
So Tir Tir is one of those brands that's huge overseas but not really known in Korea. To be honest, I reviewed the Tir Tir cushion because so many of you requested it. I bought it, I even tried it. It should be marketing, I think, in terms of product quality, lasting power and finish. It feels like something from five to six years ago. I mean, K-beauty evolves so fast, like... You know how Clio keeps releasing new cushions? Even Clio has improved so much that I can't use their old ones. I think what's happening here is that the best Korean products aren't as available overseas yet. Brands like Tiru Tiru are blowing up, not gonna lie. But personally, I found the Tiru Tiru cushion too thick and it oxidized on me as well. If it works for you, that's great. But I just wanted to let you know there are more and better options in Korean market now. Now, I want to try some lip products. Ray? 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 Yay? <laughs> never heard of this brand. I've never seen it on Olive Young's Korean rankings. So the packaging looks like a little tin case. 32 bucks for one tint. It should be good. Okay, now let's try ordering some stuff in Olive Young in Korea so I can review them. Biodense. Beauty of Joseon. I'll give it a try too. Oh, it's not available for Owner Dream. So, for those who don't know what Owner Dream is, Owner Dream is Olive Young's same day delivery service in Korea, but to get it, the product needs to be available in nearby stores. And this one isn't in any offline stores right now, so you can see my nearest Olive Young doesn't carry it. It kind of shows how little known the brand is in Korea. So next time, I'm gonna review some of the most popular Korean beauty products overseas. So if there's anything you want me to try, let me know in the comments below. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time. 다음 영상에서 또 만나요. 안녕!